Hi, I'm Alua Kemi. I'm excited to have you here again. This is Jam Physics 2017, which girls does. Which of the above materials can be used to obtain positive charge? We have the polythene, glass, ebonite, and silk. Okay, so electricity has many useful applications and they are related to the fact that it is possible to transfer electric charge from one body to another body and usually electrons are transferred and the body that gains electron acquires excess of negative charge while the body that loses electrons has excess of positive charge. So such separation of charge occurs often when two unlike materials are rubbed together. Okay, good. So when an ebonite rod or a black hard rubber is rubbed against animal fur. Some of the electrons from atom of the fur, okay, transfer to the rod, and the ebonite becomes negatively charged while the four becomes positively charged. Similarly, if a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, some of the electrons from the atom of the glass are deposited on the silk, leaving the silk negatively charged why the glass rod becomes positively charged on the other hand if you have a piece of polythene and rub it with a duster the polythene becomes negatively charged Okay, why the duster becomes positively charged. All right, so going back to the question which of the above materials can be used to obtain positive charge? We can see that among we can see from our illustration that it is the glass that will become positively charged, while the other materials, the ebonite, the Polythene and the silk will become negatively charged. Okay, so the glass material can be used to obtain positive charge. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.